right, guys, so I literally just got back from work, as you can see, and uh, I have this thing, which just came in right as I was right as I was parking, So, and I have my little helpers here. Uh, Paula, say hi. AJ, say hi. Hi. Okay, so yeah, let's unbox this thing. All right, let's open this bad boy. Don't open this bad boy. Look out, guys, I have a knife. Knife. Okay. This right here. And this slat. Okay. Let's get it out. Getting it out. Yes, let's get it out. Get all this stuff. And all right, you got a strap. Strap. Okay. Pull all this stuff out. Throw it. Oh, hang on. Bubble wrap this guy. Why is it so big? Because it's a big thing. That's what she said. Whoa! Whoa! All right, that was in the yeah, that was in the box. So let's open up this guy now. Okay. Oh my God. Can you guess what it is? Can you guys guess what, what's in here? All right, moment of truth. All right, so before I uncover it, I actually have, um, I have not seen this since I left Chicago a few days ago. So I actually bought this at the Chicago Music Exchange and the guy said he would ship it, he would ship it for free. So I, I took it, so <laughs> I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. What? Can't. Oh my god, can you see what it is? Oh, let me just get rid of all this soot. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, I can just get all this stuff out. Oh my god, come on, you can do it. All right, so cool, nice. So this, guys, is an Epiphone Casino. So I, when I was in Chicago, I went to the Chicago Music Exchange and I saw this on the wall and I just, I absolutely just like fawned over it and I started playing on it, played super well. And so like, I was like, you know what? I'll take this one. <laughs> so I, I took it like immediately off the spot. So yeah, this is just so cool, look at it. You can see, you can see like the wood grain. This is a like really cool color and everything. So the reason why I had it shipped was because like they, because uh, I was like pressed for time. We were only in the store for like, for like about half an hour, and so, uh, so what's it called? The guy, yeah. So yeah, the guy offered to ship it, and so yeah, here we are. Yes. So let's get like a closer look at this thing. So. This is uh, like a similar uh, body to my uh, ES-333. Um, in fact, let me get it out one second. Yeah, so this is my casino next to the ES-333. So it's is like it's got a similar similar uh, semi-hollow body style. It's got uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, this has a sing whereas this has a single humbucker. This has two humbuckers, I believe. I think these are humbuckers. Like they look like P90s, but like I know I have to like I I gotta brush up on my like guitar <laughs> like anatomy so yeah yeah so we got like what do we here some like two volume knobs two two uh tone knobs so that's cool it's got your adjustable switch here oh that's what this this is that's for the adjustable switch so yeah it looks like this looks so cool like the neck the um like the the inlays like this is like oh god i can't i just can't get enough of this thing this is so so cool oh man happy phone yeah. Oh, and it's got the nice pick guard here too. So cool! I can't wait to play it. And uh, also another thing, um, it my uh, Tom DeLonge model has, uh, I believe it's called a tremolo bridge, but this one I have never seen this one before. So, yeah. Uh, if anyone can tell me what that, is, what type of bridge this is, uh, let me know, cause I, <laughs> cause I, I, 
like I said, I need to brush up on my guitar anatomy, so yeah. Let's plug this bad boy in. Alright, just uh just tuned it right out of the box, so let's see how it sounds. Especially when I, when I have the gain up a little bit, but like I want to adjust like the the, the tenation on it because I can still hear it like ringing a little bit. Like I can tell uh, like right before they ship this out, like they probably I'm guessing they probably put new strings on it because like I, it has that little ring that ringing sound that you that you hear when like when you just put on fresh strings. I have to I probably need to adjust the tenation on this. I don't know, but I'll I'll do that later. But let's just see what else I can do here. Uh, let's try this. Alright, so it sounds, it sounds really clean when I try that Eric Clapton lick, so, um, let's try... How did that one, how did the other one go, the James Blunt thing? Uh, no, no, I forgot. No, how did that go? this thing already. This is so freaking cool. Oh god, I can't get enough of it. Oh, I'll try something else. Um... Yeah, so that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm just so excited because this is so, such a cool guitar, like, and everything. And uh, one thing I got to do is... Uh, if they will just come up. And, and there we go. All right. Yeah, so one thing I... I got to do now is I, I had to get a, a hardcover case for this because like I, I got to get one because like I have one for my uh, for my my ES333 so I got to get another one for for this one now because like this this is a really important guitar because like, I like it came all the way from Chicago I, I paid I, I paid out the ass for this thing so so yeah so like that's to come later but like so for now um, I don't know where I'm gonna store this so yeah, so until then, guys, uh, that's about it for this one. See you guys next time. Peace.